In this video, we will look at a few examples that will let us practice using hypotenuse leg or HL triangle congruence. In example A, it says, what information would you need to prove that these two triangles are congruent by using the HL theorem, hypotenuse leg? So if you look at the triangles, what we have so far is that they're right triangles, so that's good. That means we can use the HL theorem because that only works for right triangles. We also know one pair of sides that is congruent, and actually those are legs. So we already have our legs that are congruent. So the only other thing we need is to show that we have two hypotenuses congruent. So you would need to show that AC, the hypotenuse of the first triangle, is congruent to NM, the hypotenuse of the second triangle. So AC has to be shown to be congruent to NM. And keep in mind what a hypotenuse is, it's always the side opposite from the right angle and it will always be the longest side of a right triangle. So if you're having trouble finding the hypotenuse, that's a trick for how to do it. Just look across from the right angle. All right, in example B, it says determine if the triangles are congruent and if they are, write the congruent statement and which congruence postulate or theorem you used. So at this point, you've probably learned a lot of congruence postulates or theorems. Usually the HL theorem is the last one that you learn. So the other ones that you've probably learned are SSS, SAS, AAS, and ASA. And HL is the special one that only works for right triangles. So if we look at this picture, we can see that they're right triangles. But remember, that doesn't necessarily mean you'll use HL. You might still use one of the other ones. Um, because knowing that they're both right triangles really just means that you know one pair of angles that's congruent. Uh, we also know that one pair of sides is congruent, and those are each legs. And we also know that another pair of sides are congruent, and in this case, those are each hypotenuses. So because we have two legs and two hypotenuses that are congruent, and they're right triangles, you would use the HL congruence theorem. And let's do our congruence statement as well. Triangle ABC is the triangle on the left, and that's going to be congruent to triangle. And now you need to be careful. Uh, angle A will match with angle Q. So start with Q. And then B matches with P because they're both the right angles. And then the last letter is R. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle QPR by HL congruence. All right, finally, let's look at example C. Determine the additional piece of information needed to show the two triangles are congruent by HL. So this is similar to example A. We already know that there are are two right angles, so they're both right triangles. And to use HL, you really need to know three pieces of information. You need to know that they're right triangles, you need to know that the hypotenuses are congruent, and you need to know that the legs are congruent. So we know that they're right triangles, so that's good. We also know that HG is congruent to ST, and those are each legs, so we have a pair of legs that's congruent. So the last thing we need is to show that the two hypotenuses are congruent. So look across from the right angles to find your hypotenuses, and we need to be able to show that UT is congruent to FG.